Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so all of the android 12 base custom rom getting updates one of the best and the consistent rom evolution x also got the new update on 9th april 2022 we have created the last video on 26th of the march so this new update evolution x snow 6.2.2 has added bunch of the new features and the stability improvement and bug fixes so it's worth to take the review of this new update to check whether this update having ability to rank the top of the race. I will not show the installation again here. You can watch the right set card Siberia ROM installation video. Its installation process is same for Evolution X. I have given the timeline so you can jump to the specific part of the video if you want at any time. Watch the video till the end for my final verdict. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. After clean installation, we booted to the signature boot animation of Evolution X. If you are already on the Evolution X ROM, then you can just dirty flash the ROM and reboot the phone without formatting the data. After completing the setup, we will go straight to about phone section as you always do in every video. In the about phone section, we guess the Android 12L old clock star egg, which is similar to Android 12. This is the same Evolution X version. Snow 6.2.2 as you seen in a last video. But the ROM is finally updated to the latest security patch of 5th April 2022. The special part of this ROM is the kernel which is upgraded with Evolution X Plus 4.9.227. This kernel is built with the latest LLVM toolchain by Google to improve the performance and the stability. This build is cook on the 9th April 2022, thanks to the lead developer Anarim Bliss and the team bringing us the latest and the most updated ROM. Now we will see what new has been added in the update. ROM comes with the inbuilt fully stable OnePlus camera application. Special thing is that all the features are working in the camera. Portrait shots are working here without the issues. Slow motion in a video recording is also working. 4K 60fps recording is also working here. All these features are not working in some custom ROMs like the Awaken and the Pixel experience. Last bug of OnePlus camera not taking the pictures and saving in the gallery has been fixed here. Now ROM has the fully stable OnePlus camera application. ROM has a OnePlus gallery app and it's working good. Another new app we will found in app drawer is the Evolution X paper app. It has bunch of the amazing Evolution X theme and the normal wallpaper which gives the professional look to your home screen. If you go to the settings and in the Evolve or Customization tab of the ROM, we guess the new addition and the bug fixes. In the Notification tab, now we guess the Notification Reticker. By using this, we can replace our old heads up type notification to something unique notification ticker, as you can see on the screen. After changing this, System UI gets restart. It has the one separate tab to theme the notification with the theme color of the application. We can open that notification by just tapping on it. Another feature is flash blink light for the incoming calls has been added and it actually working but it seems it will consume the more battery so my recommendation is to don't use this feature a lot. Another must have feature is the volume panel position tab is added in the ROM. By using this we can shift the volume panel to the left of the screen as our device has the volume buttons on the left so it's very handy for us to reach the volume panel. Inside the miscellaneous tab, we guess the some advanced game space settings similar to the Siberia ROM. It has the dynamic mode to automatically detect the installed gaming applications, disabling the auto brightness, new notification overlay so we get the notification in an overlay form and we can also adjust their transparency. No ringing mode and disabling the swipe gestures are another features to avoid the gaming interfere. I added manually one non-gaming app Telegram to check the overlay of the game space. So we get the small game space overlay button which is good but it has missing feature of YouTube live and the game optimizations like the pixel experience ROM. Inside the notification we get the ambient edge lightning. It was not working in a previous build but it's working now. Another cool feature updated in this latest build is the volume panel expanded mode is now look similar to the Android 11 panel. It will not get open to the bottom. Now all the volume panel bars align closely to the each other. Volume panel also gets the quick switch tab if you are connected to the different media output like the Bluetooth speakers. 
if you goes to the settings system and the device extras will get the two different settings first is the panel mode for the color correction of the device it's not completely similar to the color modes of the Awaken OS but actually having the setting to increase the accuracy of the screen panel colors who gets the three different modes srgb dci p3 white color gamut and the last is the white color mode i especially prefer the default or the white color mode only dc dimming is the feature which dims the backlight by lowering the dc current this will help to save the battery of the device rom has dedicated usb otg tab we need to enable this before connecting the otg cable i tested it and it's working rom has the hd audio support for the bluetooth devices but this time they added the acc codec support also so now the rom will support three different codecs like the spc acc and ldac inside the miscellaneous setting of the all tab now guess the app hide option to hide the application from the app drawer of the launcher we need to check mark the application which we want to hide and then restart the launcher to make the effects rom has the all the android 12 l feature and they all are working the special feature battery widget is also available but to use this you need to install the setting services application then go to the app search in the settings search for the pixel launcher for stop it now go to the home screen and add the new battery widget from the setting services this will take some time to refresh the widget and it's working in this rom rom has the call recording feature and it's actually recording the calls i tested it and it's working good without the issues rom has all android 12 l features and they all are working all the essential things like the wi-fi wi-fi hotspot fingerprint nfc gps bluetooth audio normal and VOP calls sound in speaker all sensor everything are working without issues so we'll do the performance test using the geekbench i got the lowest score like the single core 489 and for the multi core it is 1732 actually i was using the phone from the long time after the first installation so the temperature of device got risen to 42 degrees celsius so i done the second test again after the phone cooling down to some extent but still i got the close results like the 489 for the single core and for multi core it is 1757 but don't be afraid of these results phone is actually working very good no lag whatsoever good ram management everything is snappy and fluid rom got successfully passed the safety net check when i tested it using the asnac application wide one security level is still l3 so no hd content for the netflix or disney hostel like applications Google Photos app is working with the unlimited photo backup like the Pixel devices. ROM comes with the inbuilt OT updater which gives the update notification and inbuilt system updation process. But my recommendation is to use the TWRP only to update your ROM. So what are the bugs? The only bug I found in the ROM is the OK Google detection is not working. But strange thing is that if we keep this tab enabled and play the any video or the music it will get some lag continuously. So my recommendation is to use the magic module given in a right side card of the video to solve this issue or otherwise keep this tab disabled. This is all about the new update. This update seems big as lots of the latest sources and the features were added in the ROM. ROM has the fully working OnePlus camera and the gallery application. Only CyberOS still the date have this in fully working condition. Though the Geekbench score are low, ROM is snappy and fluid. Battery life is similar to the CyberOS. Overall ROM seems to give in the tough fight to the leading ROMs like the Awaken OS and the Cyber OS. So it's definitely worth to upgrade this ROM. It is one of the leading ROM in the custom ROM community. So that's it for today guys. If I help you please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.